Alright, what's going on dudes? Welcome back to another video. And, uh, this is the Minecraft Weekly Snapshot 12W24A. And, I wanted to do a video on this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wanted, to, I wanted to do a video on this because this actually added some pretty interesting things into Minecraft. Now, I know they added some things interesting last week but I didn't really have time to cover them so I'm gonna cover the ones this week so here we go I might as well start off to say that they are some stone walls now some of you have been requesting those and they are only mossy and cobblestone right now I'm pretty sure there's pr probably gonna be brick sometime and as you can see they do connect to each other and you can also place torches on them. That was probably needed. I, okay, so next we go over to the stairs and uh, hold on. Brick. All right, let's get some stone brick stairs. Okay, so as you can see, they do have corner stairs now. So instead of like placing an ugly looking stair right here, or just placing a block right here and say, hey, that's fine. What you can do now is just place a random stair right there and it'll center itself to be cornered. So yeah, that's a neat little feature into the game. So let's get into the good stuff. First of all, we have flower pots now bricks actually have a use kind of uh, if I get myself some brick brick I can actually wow I need more brick than that brick all right it's actually really easy to craft all you, all you do is put it in that order and you get a flower pot and you can place your little pretty roses and flowers and all that stuff in there so yeah that is flower pots uh, next we have item frames you need to craft those from sticks sticks and leather wow all right just need a piece of leather. Alright, so you need to craft it like this. <laughs> with sticks surrounding it with leather in the middle. And that'll give you an item frame. And you can just place that on the wall and you right click to put items in there. I know, item frame section. And, you, and all you have to do to rotate them like this is just right click and then it'll rotate them and what is cool about these item frames is that maps work in them like you can post your maps on the world and maps are actually coded a little different now I will show you that in a minute and compasses work they are pointing toward my spawn point and clocks actually work too so let me set the time to I randomness. You see the clock kind of turned there. So yeah. So that is item frames and they are also these wooden buttons. So if I get there's something special about these wooden buttons. If I get a bow and shoot it it'll actually go off and that normally don't happen and I'm really excited for that because I do make custom maps and stuff so yeah uh, let me talk about maps now maps when you get them when you craft them it'll give you an empty map and all you, all you gotta do to activate it is right click and it'll just load it and everything is big and that is that each pixel on here is one block on the map 
and you can just like go over here and if you go out of the map's range and make a new map it'll be it, it won't be this it'll be the section that you are in now which I think is really cool and to make it bigger to make the map bigger I don't remember actually I think you surround it with paper or sticks or something which I don't know okay so next we have leather like you can actually dye leather armor now and I don't know if this is with you guys too but I personally think leather looks darker and I will show you the changes that they have done with leather in a minute so what you can do you can dye your leather stuff now by just like placing dye in the crafting square and that'll give you a leather cap dyed and a leather tunic dyed so yeah it's perfect for PvP maps if you're on teams or something and let me just put that on wow that doesn't work yeah and I keep misspelling the leather just hold on a second wow so let me just like create some a new set of armor and not shift try to shift click it and you see you can wear it and if you want to do these Team Fortress 2 type maps it's perfect and there's something about the leather tunic too they have buttons on them it looks like so yeah I just break a glass block okay so we are almost done let's talk about the new types of plants that are into the game which are carrots and potatoes now you can just grow them now I, I know how you actually collect a potato before you plant them and stuff um, a zombie has a chance to drop a potato maybe you didn't know that and you can plant it but I have no idea how to get carrots but all you gotta do is get carrots and right click to plant them same with the potato and yeah, and they'll drop uh, two to six carrots, I do believe. Whoa. Is my potato red there? Yes, my potato is red. And my carrots are red. Bug! I found a bug. Okay. And I'm guessing you can surround the carrot with gold and it will get you a golden carrot I'm not exactly too sure and there's a lot more stuff in the snapshot like any entity can go through nether portals now and uh, yeah I think that basically covers it uh, I can't really think of anything else so I'm just going to end it here uh, Thanks a lot for watching guys and see you next time.